Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. If you follow Ryobi, you know that this tool has been one of the most anticipated tools over the past year. This is the brand new 4-mode high impact torque wrench. The great thing about this is it's 1100, I think in 60 pounds breakaway torque. It's 700 pounds of fastening torque. This is huge and this is something that, or this is an area that Ryobi has not stepped into for a very long time because you're actually stepping into professional mechanic tools so I'm pretty excited to uh, to look at this. The model number on this is PBLIW01. Some of the cool features about this is that it does have tri-beams. That's a huge thing, especially when you're working on car in the dark areas, you want to see what you're doing. It also has a friction ring on the front of it, so no more of the indent or any of the uh, bearings coming out to lock it in place. It is a four mode, so you have mode one, two, three and automatic. Now we're gonna find out what automatic is here in just a little bit. This does 2800 impacts per minute. On mode one, this has 900 RPMs. Mode two is 1400 and mode three is 2100 RPMs per minute. So this does have a lot of great over rubber over molding you can see here. So these are some of the drop areas. So when you drop it down, it's not gonna be hitting the tool itself. So you have a lot of great uh, shock absorption from there and scratch absorption as well. Um, I don't have the rubber boot for this. I'm sure that they're going to come out with a rubber boot, but with the um, lights that come on here, it's going to be an interesting rubber boot, especially with the rubber overmolding. And true to form, that since this is the new high impact Ryobi OnePlus HP, now that's a big thing because HP in this new line of tools, it really talks about the technology. But what it really means is that you need an extra set of contacts right here. And what that does is that communicates with the HP batteries because it has extra contacts all around it. And the reason why is because when this hits a lot of friction, it's going to allow the battery to release a little bit more power um, so that the tool can use a little bit more power so it can get you through some of those hard times that you, that you may be encountering. The 1170 foot-pounds of torque well, that's where you need it on this tool is the breakaway because you get a lot of frozen nuts or bolts or something in one place that's going to send a shock wave through it and it's going to break it off. Now, when we talk about fastening, it's 700 foot-pounds of torque. That's a lot for fastening, and a lot of times you don't need to fasten it that uh, as much. So this is going to be great for hub nuts. It's going to be great for uh, tension rods. It's going to be a, uh, or torsion suspension. It's going to be a, a great for a lot of stuff. Now, I'm not a professional mechanic, but I do a ton of maintenance on my vehicles. I've rebuilt a couple vehicles. So I know what it really takes when you have to you know, break some of the big nuts when you have a, a lot of cheater bars that are two and three feet long, you know, some six feet long if you can get some strong enough. And that's where this is really going to shine. Now this review would not be a good review if we didn't do some tests. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the torque station and we're going to torque as, you know, as tight as we possibly can with the Icon Torque Wrench. And I'm going to get this as tight as possible. This can go up to 250 foot-pounds of torque. This should have absolutely no issue breaking the nuts off. In order to get this done, we're going to be using a 34 millimeter deep well socket. We typically use these for hub nuts, but today we're going to be using it on the torque station. So we're going to try and get this as possible, as tight as possible. We're just going to have fun with it, show you how it works today. So stick around, let's go. Ah, there we go. Okay, so for the first one, I'm gonna set this on level three. I am using a six amp hour battery with this. It is HP. And this should break it loose with absolutely no issues. Wow, that really did break it loose. All right, let's see if we can't do that again. Let's see if we can break it loose on level one. Okay, got it on set on level one. I got 250 pounds of torque on here. Let's break it off. Oh wow, level one. <laughs> it actually broke it. All right, let's set and reset this again. We'll do it on level two. Level 
too. All right. All right guys, so now let's test out the automatic mode. Uh, not sure how this is gonna go, but we're gonna find out. Oh wow. So it seems like when this hits a lot of friction, it just keeps increasing the power, which this went pretty much to level three. And not much time at all. All right, I really wanna put this uh, through a test. So I'm actually gonna use the high torque uh, Milwaukee. This is older for me. This has two different modes, uh, number one, number two here. Uh, but this has uh, over 1,100 inch-pounds of breakaway torque, and this has 700 fastening as well. So it's basically uh, the same specification. So I'm gonna tighten this as much as I possibly can, and let's see if the uh, new Ryobi can break it loose. All right, so that told me when I had to stop it. <laughs> when it locked down, it was done. So this has got a ton of torque on it right now. So in theory that that can uh, fasten something 700 foot pounds, this should be able to break it loose without any issue at all. So let's go ahead and set it on level three and let's uh, bust it loose. All right, that was awesome. That didn't take, that was no time at all. Just what we would hope for and uh, expected. All right, now that I wanna do, uh, I actually wanna set this on level three. I'm gonna tighten this bolt down and then we're gonna use the automatic mode to see how that does under increased torque. That has a ton of torque on it right now, so I'm gonna switch it to automatic. Let's see how this goes. All right, everybody, so that was a short demonstration of what this can do. Um, I, I want to get it out on the vehicles. I want to hit some of the hub nuts. I really want to hit some of the really tight and hard things to do on vehicles, um, but I don't have those readily available, so I want to give you just a quick video on what this looks like. I was really impressed with how it tightened, how it loosened. Um, you know, as far as the four mode goes and that automatic, I'm not sure I'm really going to be using the automatic mode as much. I'm sure. Uh, because it, it just goes straight to full power so fast and then when you're tightening with the automatic mode um, it was really not doing much it didn't increase uh, it just cut out um, so you know other than that I've been waiting on this tool for a very long time and as you can see this Milwaukee I've been using this for years I've rebuilt a couple vehicles with it it's beat up it's well worn it's dirty this is you know this is what you should expect out of these tools something that I was really missing is I really wanted the lights that's something that was really, really important for me to have because it helps me when I'm working um, inside of vehicles, under vehicles, you know, things like that. And then also, I do want to point out something. It is quite a bit smaller. It's a little bit wider, but it is smaller in terms of length. And when you're working in tight spaces, you know, let's just say you're changing a rotor out and you have the bracket or something like that you're trying to get to, a half an inch or even an inch really makes a huge difference, especially if you have to keep changing out your sockets from deep well to uh, a regular. So, you know, I'm, I'm really happy to have this tool. I'm really excited about having it in the arsenal and keeping it um, out there with the vehicles so I can use it at a, uh, regularly uh, on a regular basis. I think it's going to make my life a lot easier, especially now that I can use the same battery for all of my tools and not have to switch off to a Milwaukee. Uh, you can buy this at Home Depot. You can, get, you can get it for $199. That's for the tool only, not including a battery. So take that out. I'm sure they're going to come out with a kit soon, but right now they don't have a kit. Uh, I think it's well worth the investment. Go out, get one of these while you can. They're going to be in short supply because everybody's going to be clamoring to uh, go pick one up. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video, everybody. Take care.